All right, so what you want to do here is you first are going to go on to trainerroic.com, um, and they can actually uh, you can actually sign up for a free trial here. I think it's um, let's see what it is here. Trainer Roic, Coach Roic, basically Coach Roic is going to be your uh, where coaches are going to go. So you can get your 14 days here if you tell them that I sent you Mike Dewar, uh They might even be able to hook you up a little more. Um, so once you get your start coaching, you can log in, and this is going to be basically be your main hub. So this is all my programs you can see here. I have a bunch of them, uh, but we're just going to go to switch uh, to Coach Heroic, which is where you're going to be the portal where you can access all of your programs. Um, so we have a couple of different ideas. We have Teams, which is basically a subscription plan where you can have athletes on there. Um, so this is our weightlifting team, as you can see. I can go in and I can change day to days. Uh, you can also drag and drop programs that you previously made and stored in your library, which I'm going to show you next. Um, and this is how everything is going to look on this, and it also syncs up with the mobile application. Uh, so what you can see here is we're actually going to go to library. So whenever I make a new program, I like to put it in the library, even if it's going to my teams, because as a coach, you can actually set these in the marketplace, or you can sell these individually, where an athlete would get a, a one-year license access to this. Uh, but you can also then populate it into your training programs so you don't have to make two of the same program. You can just store it here and use it for everything. So today we're going to make the four-week uh, Olympic weightlifting beginner program. So create new program. Let's go beginner Olympic weightlifting. And let's go program. It's going to be four weeks. Uh, so workouts per week in the article that we discuss, uh, which is also in the notes below, which you can see the link if you're watching this on YouTube, is that frequency for beginners is going to be big as well as for any athlete. And how you disperse the training volumes and the loading across the week is going to depend on how many times you have to train. So I personally like to have my beginner lifters at least four days, maybe three if it's, if it's uh, you know a very, very beginner. Um, beginners often can handle a good amount of volume, but we got to get a lot of skill work in, in these early stages. So based on the commitment levels uh, of the athlete, uh, we want to kind of go from there. But I'm going to start with four days. Uh, when I tell people there, I say, you know, four days, we're creating new habits. We really got to get it going. What we can do here is if you want to send this code or you want to send this to um, any athletes, whether free trials or something, so I'm just going to go, it's like somebody was uh, thinking just like me and wanted to crush kilos. Let's go with crush kilos all day. Um, so you basically would send them a link and then give them this access code and they could access it, um, which I'm going to keep this open and you guys can access the program and check it out. Um, so we're going to create the program. As you can see here, I'm taking it in the library. So I have my four weeks and I can add days. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to the ad, and I can make all little notes that I want. So I'm going to create my basic block, and this is how I program uh, USA Weightlifting Level 1 and 2. Um, I've also uh, done a good amount of research with the Russian, Bulgarian, and Chinese weightlifting models, um, and we're with some great coaches out here. So I'm going to keep it very simple for this beginner stage, and you can read about my methodologies and kind of what's generally accepted for the beginner stages. Uh, for whether that's coming out of CrossFit or looking to supplement the CrossFit athletes or uh, sports performance or just the general weightlifting club trying to get some new people in there. So what I like to label things as is we'll call it um, – I like to start with plyometrics. Uh, and I'll fill these in afterwards. Then we'll go into our skill, which will include a lot of the skill uh, movements. Um, so we'll call these like either snatch or clean or jerk. Um, and I'm going to actually go into our strength, which could be squats or pulls. Oops, spelled that right. And then lastly, let's go with, um, we'll call this like accessory work. And in the article, you'll see there, I like to keep my, um, my main exercises to about five to six a day just because of the beginners you might find that they have an issue with uh, just getting bombarded with a bunch of movement so it's better to kind of diversify that over the course of you know four eight weeks you know four or five days uh, out of the week so the easily way to add an exercise you can see there's a million exercises so let's go with I want to have them do uh, squat jump 
And sometimes it's great and it's already in here. So I'm going to go barbell back squat jump. And you can see here, uh, we can go here and we can make little comments. Oh, what happened here? There you go. Um, so let's clear these filters. So we can make all kinds of little comments here. Actually, let's do this. That's my J2Fit one. So I can do exercise notes. Um, and then what we can do is if I want to test this block, which I won't, but I will later. Um, so we'll set the prescription. They have a lot of general preset ones that you can use here that are great, that are based off percentages. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a custom table. So I want them to do uh, three sets. And let's use reps here. Parameter. Um, let's just keep. I'll use percentage of their eight, eight, eight. And if they know their back squat, what's going to happen here is uh, once they put their maxes in their own profile, it's actually going to populate based on their back squat. So say I could back squat 200 pounds. It's going to tell me as an athlete that I need to put 40 pounds in the bar, which is an empty barbell. I can make my notes here. So that's that. Next one here, let's go with, uh, we're going to do the snatch for day one. Um, some methodologies will have the athlete perform snatch, clean, and jerk all in the same session. Uh, I like doing that for some athletes. Others I don't. It really depends. But for the beginner stage, I'm going to have uh, two snatch days, um, two clean and jerk days, and one of the, and then so that's four days. And I might actually add like in a clean and jerk day, I might add like a snatch uh, accessory exercise just to kind of keep them uh, well versed in that. So let's go with, uh, let's start off with a block snatch. I really like teaching that actually. For beginner, depending on where you're at, this is where we got to really know the athlete. <clears throat> but I really do like a block power snatch. <clears throat> so, no results found. Uh-oh. What you can do here is you can go to new exercise. You can make your own. What then can do is we can go over to uh, YouTube or wherever you would host your own videos. And let's go with the block power snatch. And great, we have uh, our friends over at Catalyst easily made this video. So we would just copy the uh, URL here. And then we would quickly go down to, you can see that's what I'm using to record, enter YouTube video. That will pop up when the athlete goes there. Select the parameters. Uh, first one, I want them to be doing reps, and let's go with, uh, let's go with, I'm going to have them record. So a lot of times with beginners, we don't know the percentages, so what I'm going to have them do is just kind of go by feel. Uh, if you want to select a reference for this, so the block power snatch and more advanced athletes, I'm going to base this off of their snatch, right? So when I, you know, so when we have them do this, um, let's see here, snatch. Um, we can do that. We can do points of reference if I just want to have it auto-populated here. But let's just save this guy here. And as you can see now, it will automatically be in this list under max exercises. So if I ever use this program uh, or this exercise again in any other program, it's going to pop up and I won't have to do that. Select exercise. Let's go with uh, – even though we're not looking at strength, I want them to be doing uh, – for beginners, as you can see in the article – I'm going to have them do a nice set of 3 by 3 um, So we can just take a look at it here. 3 by 3 and I'll put does uh, not include warm up sets to do, do. Actually, it's going to be easier. Sorry. Let's just do this. Five sets. We'll say three. And I'll say first set empty barbell all other sets build to moderate the heavy how about just moderate load speed all right and we have that strength um, I like to uh, squat them on my snatch days because the snatch is not heavy relative to the clean. So let's start with the back squat. Um, do that. 
From prescription, we're going to go three by five on this guy. So I'm just going to make my own. Actually, it's right there. Great. And let's go if they know their percentage. If not, they're going to have to play it by feel. I'm just going to have them do 70%. Uh, and then accessories. Let's have them go with uh, I'm trying to build some basic mass and strength here. So I'm going to have them do some pull ups. Um, do a strict pull up. Strict pull up. And I want to create a superset. What I can do here is I just add a block. And then I can simply, um, let's do this. Let's say I want them to superset that with uh, strict press. Let's go seated barbell strict press. And I'm looking for some basic hypertrophy. So I'm going to go 4 by 8 on that. Let's go basic hypertrophy 4 by 8. If I want them to uh, superset these, I can just link these together, create a superset. And that's perfect. Right? So as you can see here, week one, day one, we have them doing the barbell squat jump, power snatch, back squat. So I have one, two, three, four, five. And let's go, I want to actually have them do another skill. Um, so I'm going to add another block here. And let's go with uh, da, 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 skill. And let's move this guy up, actually. Oh, double that one, delete that guy. So let's go, uh, we've done the snatch. I'm gonna have them do some more snatch work. I'm gonna go behind the neck, uh, snatch push press, just to kind of get the shoulders opening up there. And we're just gonna go basic strength on that. We're gonna go three by five, and they're just gonna be building that up. So what I wanna do is I wanna move this block up right in front of the squats there. Great. So as you can see the progression here, we have our power, uh, a lot of power and velocity based movements there into our, uh, snatch while this is still a uh, a snatch movement it's a little more strength based so it's not as speed dependent so as an athlete fatigues out they might be able to get uh, still get these reps into the back squat and then two accessory movements so once I'm done there I can preview it and this will show me uh, just the general overview of the day and then what we can also do is um, when an athlete goes in, they can mark it completed. They can select a rep. So you can see this actually is starting to populate um, from some of these numbers here. So we'll get that out of there. Great. So that's that. So what we want to do is we want to um, set that there. And then we can go to day two. And we can either create a whole new block or we can do and this is really really can save time is we can just highlight copy and let's go and I like to use this template um, I usually go two on two off and give the weekends off and while these are the same workouts what I then would do is I would go in I'd edit and I would change these little things here um, say for the plyometric for this day I wanted to have them do some box jumps there. Let's just go. I'm just concerned more with three by five. On this day, let's have them do some um, muscle clean. We'll have them do that. Same thing. I'm having them go five by three, just building. Then I want to have them go into some power jerks. Okay. I'm go power jerk. Let's go here. Um, let's just go four by three at seventy percent. If they don't know it, then you know what I would have them do is, uh, if you don't know max, build with weight and record. And that's that. Um, then I have them do is I have them do a poll. So let's go with a um, oh, got to clear my filters just so I can. Let's go with uh, I like to start them with a lot of block snatch pulls. I like to start from the top down. A lot of the times the people they have issues with that. Sometimes I like to do my three positions. 
deficit pulls are great. But let's uh, let's actually keep them with the block snatch pull. Let's assume that they have some issues with uh, with that. So three by five off seventy percent. Um, if they don't know it, let's go with um, keep loads medium. Work on proper back angles over barbell. And I'm usually here with these athletes, so I can really adjust these things as needed. Um, we did back and overhead the other day, so maybe let's add some some little bit of leg volume here. Let's go like a belt squat, which we had new. Uh, we can clear the filter. Maybe it's other belt squats in there. Great. Um, I'm gonna go a little more just for some leg. Um, a little more volume, so like three for twelve, and then let's have them do a little bit of unilateral work. So let's go with a single leg RDL. Let's go there, and let's have them do the same. We'll go three by twelve, and let's get rid of this block. Let's get rid of this block. Great. So as you see here, we have our day two. We would then. Go to this guy, back to the program. All right, so you can see these two days are different. What I then would do is I would build out this whole week, right, based on our little programming here and the based on the article that you see. And then what we would do is you could uh, – what I like to do is keep a lot of exercises the same in the first uh, couple weeks here because you want to keep them acclimated. If you start changing up variables too much, you might find that they're not really learning and they're not having the process where they can – Learn something, get the skilled movement for the first you know week or two where they're making those adaptations neuromuscularly, and then what they can do is they can really settle in for the next couple of weeks and really uh, start adding loading and have the adaptation phase later on in the next cycles. So to do that, all you would simply do let's pretend that these are all four different workouts. Um, you would then simply just oh, you don't want to drag that one. We would just select all. I would copy so uh, Control C or if you're on the Apple. And what you do is you just click there and you'd paste and you could go throughout here and you can do that. Once you're done, we can look at our settings. We can change the program difficulty. Let's go with it's a beginner. Uh, let's go Olympic weightlifting. You can add your logo, cover image. Um, we can change a name. We can go to access codes here. So I have the access codes where if we look here. This is where your program page lives. If you ever want to put on the marketplace, um, you know, and they can see the sample. If you set the sample, which I did, so you can see they can come across and see what a normal day would look like. And then lastly, the great thing is do you want to sell this on the marketplace? So Trend Roic has their own marketplace. Uh, you can link your own website to the marketplace or to your specific program. So I would say yes, um, hide this program from the marketplace. No, if you're trying to sell it. Do you want to sell this program? Um, sure, why not? Uh, personal workout calendars, yes. And then you can set your price, and they give you some, some normal uh, kind of ideas of what to think about there. And then you can set your description, and then if you want to make a video kind of talking about who you are, you can add the link there. And that is where it will be. You can put this, and here's your embed codes for your website if you want to put on that. I simply just take the URL, um, this URL here, and I just uh, put it into whether it's an image or a button on my website. If you want to give promo codes, you can do promo codes, and there's your pixel if you want to have that on Facebook uh, where you can track everything. But that is basically how you can use Train Heroic to really make quick and easy program uh, options with your training programs. And you can see here, this is our weightlifting club that we use, and I've been doing this now for uh, about a year and a half on this system, and I really, really, really enjoy it. So that is all today. I know it was over five minutes, but we got really in the nitty-gritty of this programming. Um, and as you can see, there's all kinds of cool little metrics you can use. But the biggest thing here is it's really quick and easy. And while you can put it in Excel and you can do all that, um, it's just you have to continually do that. And you really can't offer the athletes the wide array of scope and resources such as video demos and tracking and logging recovery and workout times and how we're feeling and journals all in one place, whether on the app or online. Thanks, guys.